Welcome back to the B17 vlog number 7. I think it's number 7, and today I am with Rowan, and we are going to be taking a look at the Norden Bomb site, codename Meadows Mark V. Let's get started. Alright, so as you can see, we are with the... What bomber are we with? We are with the Lacy Lady today, a B17G bomber. And you can see that Rowan is in the nose, playing with the gun. And we're going to go ahead and jump inside. I'm going to cheat. All right, so we are in the cockpit now, and Rowan is on my right. Rowan, say hello. Howdy. All right, Rowan. So today we are going to skip the uh, startup process in this video, and we're going to get right into the air because we're going to be showing, well, what are we going to be showing? Go ahead. Tell the peoples. We're going to be showing off the bomb site and its amazing features. Amazing features. Amazing. Not what? just normal. Amazing. So... What makes this bomb site amazing? Well, normal Stormworks bomb sites, they project the angle the bomb will land at on the bomb site. So you're just flying your plane and you're seeing where your target is. So it's up to the pilot to maneuver the aircraft to point where it needs to be in order to drop the bombs. But that's not how the Norden works. With the Norden bomb site during World War II, you maneuvered the bomb site to look at a target and the plane would fly there and automatically drop the bombs once it was in the right position. That sounds super complicated and awesome. Uh, yes, it, it took a long time. <laughs> Could you specify how long it took? Um, two years, I two, think, is years. when you first asked me to start making That's this. That's weird, because this bomber took like two years as well. So I guess we're on a two year cycle. I guess. Mm -hmm. All right, so should we get the plane going and get up? What? Oh, oh yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, let's do it in the air. Yep, we are ready for takeoff. I will turn off brakes once you get the signal. All right, so we're going to go ahead and take off. Uh, ahead of us is the land right outside the window there. And uh, then we'll walk through the bomb site. You know what? I better put on the altitude hold right now so that we're ready to go ahead and uh, level flight. Okay. Uh, all right, brakes off. All right, throttle up. Gonna go ahead and throttle full. Listen to the little lawnmower engines. They intimidate the enemy. There we go. They do. And then we got landing gear up, and we're gonna go ahead and back off the throttle to about, I think, 65 is a minimum now. All right, so let's head on down to the bomb bay. All right, so right now, bomb bay, bomb bay. This is not the bomb bay, uh, but. Right now, we have uh, Rowan in the seat, and he's going to walk us through the whole bomb site, I guess. All right, go ahead. So, there's two different ways you can use this bomb site. I realize that a lot of people won't be able to uh, use the advanced function because it is kind of complicated. So, I keep the functions of the original Stormworks bomb site in there. Right now, it is pointing where the bombs would land if the target altitude was zero and we drop them right now. So that works the same as the original bomb site, but if I wanted to instead target something else, I'd have to engage the bomb site. And now it is flying the plane. I can press the buttons right in front of me. And as you can see, the plane will start moving around to try and point at where the crosshair is uh, pointing. As soon as the elevation angle is less than the elevation angle predicted by the original bomb site, it will drop the bombs. And as you can see, it is tracking a point right now. All right, so what are the, the controls on your left there? So this is the bomb site, or the, uh, the bombardiers panel. It controls all the aspects of the bomb site. So you can unlock the bomb bay lever, which is used to open the bomb bay. Uh, you can manually drop the payload for if you're using it like an original Stormworks bomb site. 
and the bomb safety unlock. So this has to be on for the bombs to drop. This is so when you're targeting with your bomb sight, you don't actually accidentally drop all of them by setting the angle too low. There are three settings for the uh, bomb sequencing. So on the B-17, you were able to drop it, all the bombs at once, the front rack, then the rear rack, or just have it in a clockwise circle until all the bombs are gone. You will have to select one of these before you either manually or automatically drop the bombs, or else it will just do nothing. Then you have two manually set dials. One of them is for the target altitude, which is for the advanced setting of the bomber. If you wanted it to track a target, then you have to have the correct altitude or else it will track the target if it was 40 feet underground, which is not what you want to do. And finally, we have the bomb spacing, which is used for both the advanced and the regular bomb site functions. That controls how far apart the bombs will be dropped. It's relative to speed, uh, not relative to altitude. So if you, if you have a spacing of 10 meters on the ground when the bombs land, they'll be 10 meters apart. All right, wow. That does sound complicated. Yes. So you've made it easy. What is the process to actually dropping the bombs? What do we do? Well, you take your, your uh, bomb site targeting here and you point it at your target. So you can zoom in and maneuver it all around. I'm gonna hit for that hangar. And I believe it is 40 meters from the seafloor, which is what it was uh, when I did testing. I'm not sure if it is now. So we are now pointed generally in the right direction. And I'm just gonna move it around so we target the hangar. What's nice about um, the automatic bombing is that it will drop the, uh, the string of bombs. It will land the center on the target. So it'll start dropping before the target and stop dropping after the target. Uh, that means if you have all bombs selected, you have to set your bomb spacing to zero so it doesn't drop them all in front of the target. I'm going to choose front and rear and set my bomb spacing to 10. The target is at about 40 meters off the ocean floor, so we should be set for that. I'm gonna turn off bomb safety and increase the range a little bit because the altitude was slightly inaccurate. Oh, but might, might want to go around. We're, about... we're gonna, oh, it already dropped him? Yes, we are on target. They should all land right on top of the hangar, maybe a little bit to the side. Where's my booms? The oh. booms are gone. Oh, there was one boom. Bunch of duds. <laughs> yeah. So uh, the glide ratio on those are higher because they're not as heavy. So I need to adjust the bomb site calculator. All right, let's do that. Okay. Now it's just flying on its own and bombs have dropped. That might be a little bit forward of the target. You can see it's tracking, I'm gonna turn off the bomb site now. looks like they were just a little bit forward like I thought they would be but that's because of my own error on what part what was the error? I just I just didn't track it correctly I had the crosshair too forward the altitude was probably not 40 meters like I thought it was oh, okay should we try again no I think that's actually pretty good you have to know your target and I'm not very good at knowing my target but we might want to because the bombs didn't explode. Holy moly. We're gonna go for Harrison. So we are currently below Harrison almost. I gotta activate the bomb site, increase the range and turn. So we just did a crazy turn here, but we should be angled correctly at Harrison. Uh, if I check the map, yeah, we're good. We're golden. So if we increase altitude, which the plane is currently increasing altitude, uh, we will get to the target. Uh, well, I need to select a bomb dropping setting, so I'll choose front and rear, because that's the one that I like. I need to open the bomb bay, so I unlock the bomb bay lever and pull it back. I believe the target is at 40 meters, but I'll set it to 45 just in case, and change the bomb spacing to 10, which is what I like to have it at. 
Now I just need to lead until I can spot the target, get it set correctly, and adjust it till we drop. All right, so currently we're looking at mountains. Yes, they are pretty nice looking mountains. All right. They're uh, like a geometric art piece. So the target is right over the mountains? Yes, it's over the mountains and to the right. So we'll just rotate it over. Okay. Yep, now I can see it in the bomb site. So we might need to increase the range a little. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So you're going yep. for the hangar, right? Yes. So the hangar is always the most important target, of okay. course. Okay. So do you put it like right in front of the hangar or like right on top of the hangar? What are you aiming for? So you have to pretend that there's a point 45 meters off the ground that this bomb site is pointing at. And we are leveling out, so that's why the bomb site was wavering around a little bit. It was just the jerk force. Um, so we're putting it just over the roof of the bomb, or uh, the roof of the hangar. So I think we are actually at 40, 40 meters off the ground. But depending on how the bomb site wavers, you can imagine that there's a point. So we might be actually slightly lower. Okay. That. But that's that's why the uh, the bombardier just keeps adjusting as it goes down. This has no GPS. It just senses the movement of the plane in both or in all three axes and adjusts it from there. But we are about to hit um, the bomb release. Oh no! Ah, I left the bomb safety on. All right, so we have to go around again. <laughs> yes, we'll go for O'Neill then. O'Neill. I'll close the bomb bay, but there we go. Oh well. Not much to be done about it. Do you want to bank us over there? Oh, okay, sure. Hold on. It's now one on the server bow. It is now dead ahead. Okay. It's now one on the port bow. Okay, straighten up. Straighten up, straighten up. Okay. Are we good? Yes. We are golden. And so we missed our first target because we did not do what? We didn't, all over on the left, we did not push the... Uh, bomb safety unlock. Bomb safety unlock. Okay. Bomb safety unlocks there, so if your bomb site angle is less than the calculated one, you don't accidentally drop all of them. Yeah, you know what this means is you really felt your training, because if we were on an actual bombing run and you messed up like that, we would be in trouble. The Germans would shoot us down. With a full load of bombs. With a full load of bombs, yes. So we would be a big old firework. All right, what are we looking at here, mountains? Mountains, we got, what is it, two kilometers to go? Yeah, two kilometers, maybe a 1.75 by now. No, six kilometers, my bad. Wrong map scale. All We're right. drifting a little bit to the right. We want to bank left. Can't you use your bomb site? I can, that's true. I'm going to take control of the bomb site. Okay, so we are set up on a course with the bomb site now, or with the target now, so. All right. And this time, I will hit the bomb safety unlock. Oh. And now I'll open the bomb bay. Okay. It is a little bit foggy, okay. Um, I, okay. I can see the target. Actually, I see the target in the bomb bay better than I see the target out the window, or the bomb site. Yes, that's because this has zoom. We're pretty much laser beaming that right now. Yeah, okay. It's by, yeah, that should be good. Okay, you got your height setting right and everything? Yep. Uh, I believe the glide ratio should be correct. Uh, um, I have my bombs, uh, the sequence set. We have a buzzer going off in our ear. Now we just sit back and adjust. Okay, we're waiting. You can see both targets. One in the bombarder and one out the window. Okay, we're waiting. Waiting. And just about any second now. There's the beep. There's there the bombs. Goes. Bombs away. 
Looks like they'll be hitting right on target. Oh! Explosions confirmed. Look, at, look that. at that. That's nice. Wow. That's what I like to see. Whoa! Mission accomplished. Now just think of this. If we lined up with a runway and I set the bomb spacing to like 25 meters, take out a whole runway with this. Wow. And with the crater deformation in this game, it would be awesome. Yes. I my That's my favorite part of the game. The constantly changing terrain. You can just explode terrain in this game. It's the best thing ever. Yep, 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 yep. The uh, terrain DLC. Mm -hmm. Coming soon. All right, Rowan. So is this... You know, is this a mission accomplished? Did we do our job? Yeah. Yeah, we did it. Perfect. It was like, everything went right. All right, so this was a walkthrough of the Norden bomb site, code name Meadows Mark V. Yes. And this was created by Rowan for this B-17, and you can download it. Not yet. We don't have it released yet. But when we do, we'll have a link in the description. So it's not released yet. We're going to be doing a few more videos with this, and I think I'm going to put this bomber on the dedicated server and let people go ahead and fly it and try it out. So that'll be cool. Oh yeah. So in Any order to help, always <laughs> uh, message me. Yeah, in order to try it, they'll have to like crash the server to, to get it to restart with all the bombs again. But uh, oh, what? What? That's not what I like to hear. Oh, this is not good. We got shrapnel from the bombs. Mm, oh, you Did know you what happened? What is it? I forgot to open up the uh, cow flaps. Oops. Yeah. All right. No, this looks like a good down. place to say uh, that's it for today. If you haven't subscribed, please hit the uh, subscribe button. <laughs> Wait, how's it go? I don't Favorites know. Favorites from the POW camps. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no big explosion. All right, that's it for today. Hit the bell. That's what. Okay, that's the order. All right, that's it for today. Hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And we will see you next time. Thanks for joining me, Rowan. My pleasure. All right, let's let's get out of here. This noise is terrible. <laughs> Just edit in B17 noise.